In Motion is a company that prides itself on craftsmanship and rider safety. While these attributes are welcomed by many, an unintended consequence was many considering the brand too conservative and lacking wheels that excite riders. With their latest models of wheels, the V11 and the V12, In Motion is attempting to shake off the connotation that the brand produces safe but non-thrilling wheels. In this video, I will share my initial thoughts of the V11 by highlighting the top three features I enjoy most about this wheel thus far. I will complete a more comprehensive review after riding a total of 500 miles on the wheel where I will share my thoughts on the wheel, both positive elements and things I feel riders should consider. At this point, I have ridden about 250 miles on the V11. In Motion was one of the first companies to announce a wheel with suspension. In many ways, this was a leap forward for the sport. Since the V11's release, we have seen several companies produce wheels on their own that feature suspension systems. The V11 suspension features a 85 mm system composed of negative and positive chambers. This means riders have to fill the lower and upper chambers with the correct amount of air pressure. The ability to adjust the PSI allows riders to adjust the suspension responsiveness for various conditions. For example, riders can adjust the suspension to accommodate their weight. It also allows riders to adapt the PSI to accommodate their riding style and terrain. In addition to being able to handle off-road situations, there are two areas that I found the suspension most beneficial. One was in helping reduce fatigue and the other helping to increase riders' safety margin. Often when watching promotional videos on wheels with suspension, you will see riders doing gimmicky things like riding down stairs and jumping off ramps. But I think it's fair to say that the vast majority of riders who purchase wheels do not ride in this manner. Not only will it cause more wear and tear on one's wheel, but it also increases the likelihood of sustaining injury. While the V11 is capable of extreme riding, the two areas associated with the suspension that may appeal to the vast majority of riders are the wheel's ability to reduce fatigue and increase safety margin. On non-suspension wheels, the terrain is more likely to transfer through the rider's body, resulting in riders feeling it the next day through achy knees, back, and legs. The V11 suspension is very effective in reducing roll vibration, thus wear and tear on the body. Probably the most underrated byproduct of the suspension wheels are the increased safety margin provided. When hitting road imperfections, the wheel helps absorb the shock, which helps riders stay more stable. Sometimes when riding, you may not be able to avoid every pothole or imperfection, and a wheel with suspension in many ways helps riders not be thrown off of their wheel when they encounter bumps that they may not notice or see. This is especially beneficial for night riding. The lighting system on this wheel is my second favorite characteristic. Now, I do wish the wheel had RBG lights because I love shining. Even so, the front and rear light are really solid. The rear light is large and of course illuminates when braking which helps fellow riders and even vehicles who may be riding behind you. The front light illuminates when riding at all times to help with visibility and during night situations, riders can turn on the high beam which does a spectacular job in lighting up the path. The final component that I want to discuss in this initial impressions video is the technology integration with this wheel. The V11 has the ability to connect to Emotion's feature-rich app. While in the app, riders can see specs such as mileage, top speed, range, average speed, battery range. Riders can also adjust ride modes, customize speed limitations, and pedal sensitivity. Overall, the V11 is a very solid, well-rounded wheel. As I mentioned earlier, I will share my complete thoughts on this wheel after hitting the 500 mile milestone because I want to share some additional positive features as well as some constructive criticism regarding various components of this particular wheel. If you want to learn more about this wheel, please take a moment to view the link in the description below. As always, PEVs allow you to be everywhere and I will see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded.